Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Melissa, and I'm here to lead you through chair yoga. So we will practice together for 30 minutes. Just a reminder to listen to your body. So if any stretches do not work for you, you can always skip them, come on out and modify. And things that you'll need for your practice today is you'll just want to have a chair that you feel comfortable in. So a chair that's at your desk is great. If it has wheels, you may want to put them into the locked position. And as we start today, let's start with a little bit of a centering. So for this one, you can scoot to the edge of your seat. And this will just help you to elongate your spine, to engage your core a little bit. Sometimes when we sit back into the chair, we can do a little rounding of our upper back. So we are going to just be right at the edge of the seat, engage the core, lengthen the spine. And as we start today, we'll just practice a little bit of mindfulness. So mindfulness is a form of meditation. And mindfulness is a really great practice of just simply noticing life as it is and then releasing it. So sometimes in life we, you know, have a thought and we create a conversation about it or we judge it. And mindfulness is kind of just letting the thought be a cloud that's in the sky. So we just see the cloud, acknowledge it and let it go. So let's just start with a little bit of that practice. As we begin today, you can scoot to the edge of the seat. We'll take a moment to close the eyes. And just simply being here with your body and being here with your breath in the moment. And that as we take that time to practice mindfulness, just Observing your physical body in this moment. So maybe feel your feet grounded and planted down. Maybe feel the sitting bones in the chair. Feel your feet grounded and planted. Feel your knees in line with your heels. Feel your knees in line with your hips. And feel that the shoulders are over the hips. So we just don't want to be leaning forward or back too much. And then that sensation of engaging the core. So tucking the tailbone, feeling the navel move back and up to the spine slightly. And then creating that long line that flows through the spine. Lengthening the back of the neck, reaching and stretching through the crown of the head. And then just bringing your awareness to the surroundings in the moment. Noticing the temperature of the air, noticing if it feels warm or cool, or maybe it feels just perfect. Observe if there's any sounds that you hear, maybe sounds in the space that you're in, maybe sounds of the world moving outside the space that you're in. And just simply feeling yourself being here in the moment. Observe if there's any scent in the air, maybe if the windows are open, fresh air flowing in, maybe fragrance in the air. And then setting an intention for your practice today. And that could be anything, it might be that you want to give yourself this time to relax. It might be that you are holding tension in a particular area and you want to release that. There's really no right and there's no wrong intention. Let's take a moment here. We are going to take the hands up and overhead and reach for opposite elbows. Give yourself a little shift to the right and the left. So we're just gonna do a wiggle here in the waist. So each time that you create this movement, really try to reach and stretch up and out of the waist. 
Try to create that lateral flexibility in the spine. Give yourself that moment to pause. Release your arms off towards the left. And we're going to pause here for a moment. So try to draw this left elbow down. Give yourself a deeper side stretch. Let's take ourselves back to center. Realign here. Nice full breath to lengthen and release to the right. Breathe so deeply. Almost imagine that you could create space in between the ribs. Let's float ourselves back onto the center. We'll release those hands down. Let's work a little bit with our neck. We'll take a nice little neck flow. Draw your chin to your chest. Lengthen the back of your neck. And begin to draw the head up towards the sky. Gently relax your head back. And chin to your chest. Gently relax the head. Gaze floats out. And then let's just begin to flow forward and back for a moment. Good. Let's bring ourselves to neutral. We're going to take that left ear to the left shoulder. Back on through to center. Let's take right to right. And side to side here. So we are going to work with the six movements of the spine. And these are really great to remember. These six movements of the neck are a great little thing, great little tool to carry with you through life. I always think about them. If I'm having some neck pain or discomfort, I'll just say, no, just 30 seconds. Let's just flow through the six movements of the neck. And after I do that, my neck feels so much better. It really helps to loosen up those muscles a little bit, get the circulation and the blood flowing to the neck. I'm going to bring ourselves to center and gaze off the right shoulder. Give yourself a little twist. Back to center, lengthen. Gaze off your left shoulder. Back to center. We're just going to go side to side here. So the six movements of the neck are the movement we're doing currently. So that's a twist side to side. And that first movement we did was back and forth. So just that nice rounding and then opening. And then we have the lateral stretch, which is the shift to the right and the left shoulder. So easy to remember, our neck moves six different ways. So if you're ever experiencing that, a little bit of a neck fatigue, you can work your way through those and I'm sure that you'll feel a lot better. Good, let's come back to center and let's bring that into our spine. So the whole entire spine. So we'll start with our hands of the heart space in prayer. Send your fingertips forward and do a bit of a round of your back. And then we are going to open the chest and the heart and we're gonna open those hands up. And chin to your chest, let's round. We're gonna bring in those palms together, fingertips reach and stretch forward and open. And just flow here with the breath. Lengthen your spine as you inhale. Lengthen your spine as you exhale. As you inhale, let your shoulders relax from your ears. We'll create that space between the ears and the shoulders. Feel the shoulder blades moving down your back. On the exhale, round your back. Imagine creating space between the shoulder blades. Good. Let's take ourselves to a neutral spine here. Hands can reach up and overhead. Fingers will interlock, palms will touch. And let's do a little shift to the right and the left. So as we Flow through the six movements of the whole entire spine or the six movements of the neck. So right now we're doing that shift to the right and the left. We just did a back bend and then that rounding of the spine. And then we're gonna wrap it up with a twist to the right and the left. Let's take a moment to pause. Release your hands off towards the right. And try to ground into that left sitting bone. Sometimes that left sitting bone can kind of rise and lift up a little bit. Come back to center. Nice full breath here to lengthen. Hands off towards the left. 
Try to roll this left shoulder under, right shoulder is rolling open, heart is shining to the sky. And back to center. Let's take a nice full breath to lengthen and release your hands off towards the right. So we're just going to hold ourselves in a seated spinal twist. So as you're twisting here, on the in-breath, feel your spine lengthen. On your out-breath, allow for your twist to deepen. Hands can reach out, breathe in. Release to the left, breathe out. And then gazing off the left shoulder. Noticing if that helps you move a little bit deeper into the spinal twist. And let's try this with a little movement and flow. So hands to the sky, nice full breath in. Release to the right, breathe out. Inhale, let's reach up and stretch out. And release to the left. Let's go one more time on each side. Hands up, breathe in so deeply. Hands to the sky, let's breathe here. And hands at the heart as you exhale. Let's bring our feet out nice and wide. And on this one, we're going to try to scoot to the edge of the seat as best as you can. And you can always hold on to the chair if you need to. Let's do a little windshield wipe of our knees to the left and to the right. And releasing your knees off towards the right. So we're gonna try a little flow here with our warrior poses. So to start, have your left leg in a 90 degree angle and also have the right leg in a 90 degree angle as well. So this one is going to be great for that quad on the right side. Nice hip flexor and so a stretch on the right side. Hands can reach to the sky as you inhale and you can try to square the hips and the shoulders forward here. So maybe encouraging your right hip and right shoulder forward left hip and left shoulder back. Good, let's try out a crescent warrior from here. So you're just gonna begin to straighten that right leg behind you. And if you practice yoga on the yoga mat, a lot of times we try to bring our right heel in line with our right hip, but for this one, you can have your leg at a bit of an angle. So you are gonna be, you are gonna wanna be on your toes so that the majority of your foot is lifted, but that foot can be at a little bit of an angle, aiming to maybe where the corner of the room is on the right side. And let's take our hands to the sky. So this one is also going to, Deepen that quad stretch and hip flexor so as stretch on the right side. You can take this opportunity to square your hips and to square your shoulders forward. And let's bring it into warrior one. Right foot can float off to the right. Even having this leg at more of an angle if you want. And then this foot is going to be at that angle. So you're going to want your back heel grounded down. And then you'll want your back foot at a 45 degree angle. So it aims to meet the opposite corner of the room. You can take our hands to the sky as you inhale. And engaging the core here. Let's feel our tailbone tuck. Feel the navel move back and up to the spine slightly. And then creating that long line of energy that flows through the body. Moving into warrior two when you're ready, you'll probably just have to readjust your feet a little bit. Now on our yoga mat, we try to line our front heel up with our back arch, but we don't have to do this when we're in the chair. So again, this back leg can be at that angle because we don't want to um, tweak our knee too much on this one. We can take one hand forward and back. Shoulders are over the hips and breathe here. So try to feel that the tailbone tucks. Feel that the navel moves back and up to the spine slightly. And then try to create that long line that flows through your spine. Reverse, let's bring that front hand up and back. 
So your back hand can glide down your back leg. You may want to wrap it around your low back and reach for the other hip crease. Let's take a moment. We're going to come on through almost like a cartwheel or a windmill down. We'll take our left arm to our left leg. We'll take that right hand up. And if you wanted to get more of a stretch, maybe bring your hand down onto the ground. And we're just going to feel ourselves reach and stretch in opposite directions. Try to stack and open through your shoulders. And core engages. Let's bring ourselves back on through for warrior two. We're going to do a reset on the legs so we can sweep those legs in towards one another. Windshield, wipe your knees to the right and release off towards the left. Knees release off towards the, the right this time. So we're going to start with our knee down warrior. We call this one Anjani Asana. So we'll just want to check in 90 degree angle in the legs. Hold on to that chair if you want. Hands to the sky if you'd like. Feel your shoulders relax away from your ears. We'll create a little space here between the ears and the shoulders. Feel the shoulder blades moving down your back. And release. We're going to begin to straighten that leg out. So of course, let it float off towards the left if you need to. Try to get it as straight as you can. Really try to press out through the back of your knee and your heel. We can take our hands to the sky as you breathe in. Try to relax your shoulders away from your ears. We'll create that space between the ears and the shoulders. Feel the shoulder blades moving down your back. We are going to transition to a warrior one pose. So very similar, but the only thing that's going to happen is we're going to begin to press that heel down. So you may have to scoot that left foot to the left a little bit more. We want our back foot to be at an angle, a 45 degree angle. So aiming to where the walls come together, the corner of the room. We are going to connect with our breath here. So let's breathe into our stomach, our ribs, our chest and release from the chest ribs and stomach let's bring ourselves into warrior two pose you'll probably have to do a bit of a reset here with the hips and with the legs so feel free to let that left foot float to the left a little bit more you do want to try to feel that your left foot is straight with the back wall hands are reaching forward and back and try to feel yourself breathe in and breathe out through your nose. Try to lengthen as you inhale, lengthen as you exhale. As you inhale, feeling yourself becoming more and more relaxed. Bring your front hand up and back. We'll try reverse warrior two pose. We call this one a peaceful warrior as well. And this gives us that nice lateral stretch in the spine. So breathe so deeply here. Imagine that you could create a bit of space in between the ribs. Core engages. Let's put ourselves on up. Right arm to right leg. Left hand to the sky. And breathing here. If you wanted more of a stretch, maybe lowering that hand down on toward, onto the ground. Almost create a little bit of a twisting sensation here. So we're going to try to roll that left shoulder back, right shoulder under. And then same thing with the hips. Left hip back and right hip under. Let's bring it on up. We'll do a reset to warrior two. Relaxing those arms. Let's take our feet out nice and wide and release to the right and release to the left. Good, let's come on up to stand. We'll try some standing poses. So as we stand up here, let's take our feet nice and wide and we're just gonna work our way into empty coat sleeve stretch. So a little shift to the right and a little shift to the left. And as you come to stillness here, 
Let's take our feet right in line with our hips. We're going to bring our hands up and overhead. Take your right hand for your left wrist and then take your left foot to the right. So we'll just have our legs crossed here. Release your hands to the right. Rolling that right shoulder under. Let's take our left shoulder back a little bit. And legs will stay just how they are. Let's bring ourselves back to center. Change up the grip in the hands. Let's release off towards the left. Right hip presses to the right. Breathe in and out. Let's release. We're gonna float those hands down. We can do a reset on our legs. And we're gonna try that on the other side. So we'll take our hands up to the sky, breathe in. Left hand for that right wrist. And let's take our right foot to the left. Take a full breath here to lengthen. Let's release to the left. Try to ground evenly through both of your feet, inside and outside of each foot. And back to center, change up the grip in the hands, lengthen and release to the right. And release, let's put ourselves back to center. We can do a reset on the legs, maybe shake out your wrists and shake out your feet. Let's take our hands behind the body for yoga mudra. Fingers will interlock, palms will touch. Maybe imagine squeezing a pencil between the shoulder blades. We're gonna try a variation of chair pose here. So we can take our feet in line with our hips, bend deeply into your knees. Draw the weight back into your heels so that your toes are a little lighter here. And almost just feeling like your toes could lift off of the mat or off of the ground rather. We are gonna breathe here. So this one is so good for building that strength in your legs. And as we take that yoga mudra variation, really good for opening the chest and the heart. Let's come on down to a full. So we're just gonna hinge on our hips, release yourself down. Try to relax the fronts of your shoulders and just noticing if that helps you move a little deeper into the shoulder stretch. We can release our hands onto our low back. Hands can float down towards the ground and we're just gonna float ourselves on up for a neutral spine. Let's take our shoulders up, back and down. Let's try out tree pose. We'll come into Rikshasana. So if you are barefoot, you can just take your foot and plant it to the inside of your leg. Also, if it's easy to kick those shoes off, you can do that as well. And if you have your shoes on, maybe you're just gonna hover. Maybe that foot will be maybe an inch or two away from the leg. On this one, toes can be on the ground. You can create a little bit of a kickstand. You can also bring that foot anywhere on the leg. That feels comfortable. We just never want to place the foot right onto the knee joint. So below the knee or above the knee is fine. We can bring those hands to the sky if you'd like. A little shoulder release here. And our trick with balancing is to find one spot to focus on. One spot to focus your concentration, to focus your awareness. And once you find that spot, not letting the eye shift at all. Let's release those arms. We're gonna do a reset on our feet, grounding firmly into your right foot. Left leg can rise up when you're ready. Hands can sweep up and overhead. Trying to run really firmly through all the parts of your right foot. So press through the inside, through the outside, and notice your body's natural tendency. Noticing if you tend to roll in, maybe rolling to the outside of your foot. Good, let's release that one down. We can take our feet a bit wider than our hips. Let's take arms side to side. We'll try our empty coat sleeve stretch. Good, and let's take a moment to grab our chair. So what we're gonna do is we'll use the back of our chair for support, so you can just flip that around. And first we're gonna start with a variation of a down dog slash a forward fold. We'll take our hands right onto the top of the chair, and then you can begin to walk your hips back and then just give yourself this really nice stretch. 
So if your chair did have wheels and they were not in the locked position, you could create a little sensation of pressing your chair away from you and then send your weight back into your heels. So you would just feel yourself move and stretch in opposite directions. And same thing if you have a chair that does have wheels, it's in the locked position. If it is an option, maybe try to press it away. And just see if that can give you a little bit more of a stretch here. We are going to release. You can walk yourself into the chair. We're gonna come on up to stand. Let's try out a shoulder roll. We'll take one here. Take the shoulders up, back and down. Bringing your hands onto your chair. Let's try a warrior three variation. So we'll begin to extend our right leg back and up when you're ready. So on this one, you are going to imagine that you could balance a block on your low back. Maybe rolling that right hip down a little bit, trying to even up the low back in the hips. And let's take that right foot down, left leg rises when you're ready. And release, we're gonna float that leg down. We're gonna come on up to stand. Let's try out one shoulder roll here. Take the shoulders up, back and down. And we'll try out a version of standing splits pose. And we're gonna use our chair for this one. So you're gonna to wanna to access the seat of the chair. So for this one, we're gonna come down onto our forearms. So forearms will rest on the chair. And when you're ready, let's begin to take that right leg up to the sky. So this one is so good for strengthening your left leg. We are gonna strengthen all of the muscles through the foot, through the ankle, and through the knee. You can hold it here if you wanted more of a stretch. Let's take our knee into our nose on the exhale. We're going to round and crunch. Send your leg up and back. Exhale, round. Up and back. Let's go three more times here with the breath. Good, let's do a reset back on through. So right foot plants, this is a variation of dolphin here. And then left leg can rise on up. We'll hold it for a moment, make sure that you're breathing. Knee into your nose on exhale, round and crunch. Float your leg up and back. Exhale round, up and back. Let's go three more times here with the breath. Good, let's come back on through to that dolphin stretch. We're gonna come on up to stand. So maybe you take your hands onto the chair and then roll on up through the spine one vertebrae at a time. We'll take our shoulders up, back and down. Let's come on back to the seat. We're gonna take a nice comfortable seated position. And just how we started our time together, you can scoot right to the edge of your seat to help you elongate your spine. Give yourself a moment to close the eyes. Let's take our shoulders up to the ears. Find that large circle. Relax your shoulders with your exhale. Take this time here to notice how you feel. Observe your mind and your body in the moment. Feel your mind relax, calm, at ease. Feel your body aligned and balanced. Noticing any tension that you came to class with today, just feeling how that has released with mindfulness and meditation and chair yoga. Letting the eyes open when you are ready. Thank you so much for joining today. I hope you have a wonderful day today and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome.
Thank you. You're welcome.